gentlemen, to this week's pub quiz. Yes, that's right, it's time for another evening of questions, answers, and a big cash prize. And tonight, the fund's total is, drum roll please, 150 pounds. Better than a slap in the face with a wet fish, eh? Oh, I'm well pumped for this. The cash is as good as ours. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm doing my homework. <laughs> <laughs> good effort. I'm not totally convinced you're to analyse the encyclopedia of Atlanta. Right, people, settle down for Nito to chatter because it is time for round one. Sports round. Yeah. Music round. Oh, Whatever. Our box. Abacus is Abacus. I'm ready. <laughs> it's time for the global party round. <laughs> Tag. <laughs> I'm richer than you are. Why? How come you're so rich? Because uh, I got cool clothes. I got tops and bottoms <laughs> with no holes in. Well. I've got clothes and sandals! Oh, oh, that means I'm the king of your skin! No, I must be richer because my family live close to the watering hole and it only takes us half hour to get water. Well, my family live next to the street lamp, so when it's dark, we can see without candles. <laughs> uh, yeah, but my house has a straw floor, not dirt, not dung, not sand, it's straw. Well, my, my dad has a radio. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. He plays it at night while we're sleeping. And he dances with my mum! <laughs> no, I must be richer than you are. Why? You haven't got sandals or a street lamp or a radio. Yeah, but where's your street lamp and radio now, eh? You came to my house to stay here, so I must be richer. Tag! Being poor sucks. Oh, it's so unfair what we have to put up with these days. My parents are being really tight. They say I can't have a PS4 for my birthday. So, wait, I thought you were going to Florida for your birthday. To Universal Studios. I know we are, but that's no reason to skip on the presents, is it? No, I know what you mean. Daddy won't let me have an iPhone 6. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's not your birthday until November. Not for my birthday, stupid. For Easter. He says I can't have an iPhone 6, but I can have his old iPhone 5. Oh, oh. We're like poor now. Apparently it's all to do with the... Um, the recession. The recession. Yeah, our parents are totally skinned because of the banks. Daddy had to take a £60,000 pay cut this financial year. And he took less than 100 k for his bonus. It's disgusting. We had to sell three of our cars, and we're only going on two foreign holidays this, this year. Ugh, it's awful. Being poor totally sucks. I hate it. Question number one. <laughs> what is the MPI? Is it A, an international chain of DIY stores? Is it B? A TV detective programme, or is it C, the multi-dimensional poverty index which assesses the poverty of people in over 100 developing countries? Oh, that third one is way too obvious. It's gotta be a red herring. It's a DIY chain. Modelling, professional, interiors. Must be. I haven't got as far as that. Sorry, guys. Question number two. How many people are currently living in multi-dimensional poverty? Is it A, 10 million, B, 75 million, or C, 1.6 billion? 75 million? Yeah, 10 million. It's M again. I haven't got a clue. Question number three! Which country currently has the highest percentage of poor people living in MPI poverty? Is it A, Albania, B, Niger, or C, Haiti? Uh, well, Haiti's got really nice beaches, so it's not going to be there. Niger. Um, I think he means Nigeria, so he's making that one up. Albania. It's got to be that one. Right, I'm ready for the final question in that round. Question number four. Why? It's okay in the summer. If we get a summer. If it's warm and sunny, I can lay outside in the park all day. The flat's really hot in the summer at night, so I can use the money for food then. No worries. It's when it's cold and dark, that's what I dread most. If it's too wet and too cold to hang around outside, then, then I have to play heat or eat. The weekly check won't stretch to both. Cold or hungry? What a choice.
Welcome to the home of the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index. The MPI covers over 100 developing countries. It assesses the nature and intensity of poverty of individuals by directly measuring the overlapping deprivations poor people experience simultaneously. It gives a clear picture of how and where people are poor within countries and regions. It helps policymakers target their resources more effectively at the people most in need, so that they can make policy interventions that tackle the many different aspects of poverty together. Poverty is much broader and deeper than not having any money. We consider three dimensions of poverty. Education, health and living standard and measure 10 indicators of poverty. Years of schooling, child school attendance, child mortality, nutrition, sanitation, electricity, safe drinking water, flooring, cooking fuel and assets. There are currently 1.6 billion people worldwide who are multidimensionally poor. We were a happy family. Known for our smiles. People in our town could recognize us by our smiles or our laughter, even from a distance. Life was good. We were blessed. My son was a real delight. A proper comedian he was. Always making us laugh with his silly jokes and his funny faces. He used to say, Father, we're blessed. He was right. He was a blessing to us. For eight years. And then the pneumonia took him. There was no work in the town, so I couldn't afford the medicine. It was tragic. I fed my wife and daughter by selling goods on the black market. Our house was small and empty, but we kept each other warm. We missed our son, but at least we still had each other. When the water supply went bad, it was too late. The infection had already taken hold and the sickness spread quickly. There was no time to get them to a hospital. It was very quick. I guess that's a blessing. I felt so helpless, but my wife said it was a comfort to have me near. She told me to be strong. They died in each other's arms with me holding them. And now it's just me. I left that country. Found a new home, here, and I'm blessed. My blessings are in my heart and in my memories. And life is good, sometimes short, not always easy. But life is, life is good. You have three minutes to get to know each other and find out how compatible you are. At the end of the date, write a tick or cross to indicate whether you'd like to spend more time with this person. So what do you... And what... So, what are you passionate about? Shoes. I absolutely love shoes. I love every type of shoe. Brogues and Oxfords and Mary Janes and just so many hundreds of pairs of shoes that I've got back in my apartment. Some of them I haven't even worn yet. They're so pretty. Um, 
is there anything else that you are passionate about, I, apart from shoes? Yeah, of course. Bags. I love bags and poldles and satchels and even bags for life. I've just got bags to complement the shoes, bags to contrast the shoes. I've got all angles covered. Oh. Um. So tell me what you're passionate about. Um, global poverty and social justice. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Right, guys, that's your time up. Get ready to move to another table. Don't forget to mark a tick or a cross for compatibility before you leave. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that sound means one thing and one thing only. It's time for the second round of our pub quiz this evening. The music round! I will play you a song if you will tell me the name of the artist or the band that originally performed that track. You ready? Let's go! Wait, wait a minute, I'm still stuck in the last question of round one. What, what, what was it again? I've already forgotten. Can I deceive me? <laughs> it was... Why? Why? Why what? Why... Why poverty, I guess. How does he expect us to answer that one? I, that's a stupid question. It really makes you think, though, doesn't it? Obviously not hard enough. Round one was obviously not hard enough, so I think we should take it up a notch, if you know what I mean. Question number one. It's a hard knot, life. <laughs> That's so true. Pretty depressing, really. Cheesy! Jeez. You know, it is a hard life for the people in Haiti or whatever. Question number two! <laughs> Love will tear us apart! <laughs> Joy division! That's exactly what it does. It tears you apart and divides you from joy. That, that's what love does to you. I'm so confused. Are we still on the boat in poverty now? Damn it! These are the type of people that really make me hate my job. Hey, I had that Brian Cox in the back of my cap once. Lovely fella. Beautiful mind. He spoke to me politely. We had a grown up intelligent conversation about quantum physics. I started it. Uh, quantum physics is my area of expertise. One of my degrees is in quantum physics. Really? Don't give me that look. I'm sick of it. See, back in my own country, I was a promising young physicist before the war. When I came over here to escape, I hoped to carry on my research, but I couldn't find a job. I had to work, to eat, to live, to pay the rent. And so I drive. But while I'm driving, I'm still thinking, researching, planning for a better future, hoping for more. Here, I can eat or I can study. That's my choice. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for question number three. Who is the artist or the band that originally performed? All by myself. <laughs> Celine Dion! Celine Dion! No, 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 no. Uh, Celine Dion did a cover. The original was done by Eric Carmen. Eric Carmen? Carmen, that's an opera. I'm not an idiot. All by myself. That's the story of my life, that it is. Nobody loves me. I mean, I'm all by myself, really. Right, that's enough of that. I think it's time to move on. Move on to where? It's easy enough for you to say. Well, where? What if you haven't got anyone to move on to, huh? What if they've left you all on your own to rot? No. That's it for her this evening. You're not going to get any more sense out of her. No. I want to win. I need the cash. I need the cash? Do you want to sit 
somewhere else. Yeah. And it was Celine Dion, by the way. All by myself. Apart from this one, my constant companion never lets me down. Unlike him. So he left, I, I have nothing. Oh, apart from the kids. And the job. And the dance. It was all too much, really. No wonder I couldn't cope. I had to escape somehow. This was the only way. It made life bearable. They didn't understand. It wasn't fair. I had nothing. And then they took them. My little boy and my little girl. I was an unfit mother, they said. Didn't give me a chance. And then I've lost a job, lost a plot according to him, lost everything. They don't speak to me now, don't want to know. Let me tell you, when you haven't got anyone, then, when you haven't got anything, blessed. Our blessings are in our hearts and in our memories. Life is good, sometimes short, not always easy, but life is good.